Hey, so today I thought I would do a fun video where I show you guys products that I've hit pan on. Now, not all of these are actually in my project pan. I think only... only two of these? Only two of these are actually in my project pan for this year. But I've got quite a few things that I want to show you and I thought I love seeing people hit pan on products. I think it's so satisfying. Unlike Harley, who actually says that he fucking hates it because he's like, it just looks ugly. It just... I don't know, I like it when it looks clean and I'm just like, no. Also, I apologize for my horrific application of black liquid lipstick today. I tried to put this on very quickly and um, don't do that. But I can't be bothered to fix it. So we're gonna have to deal with it. I'll start off with two products that you've already seen me uh, show off before, which are both blushes. This is the e.l.f. blush in the shade Mellow Mauve. And this is the pan that I have on it. It's quite, quite amazing. Like, I'm very impressed with the pan on this. This is my cool tone blush that I use. I love it. I really do like the e.l.f. blush formula. I think they're very good. This was actually the first blush I ever purchased. And you may be thinking, how old is that blush? It's actually not too old. I think it's maybe a little over a year and a half old. That's actually kind of old, isn't it? But I mean, I've got a good pan on it, so... There's that. The next one is my Ciate Glow 2 blush in Date Night. I love this blush. I'm wearing it today. This is what it looks like. You can tell that the packaging is so dirty from where, like, I fucking yeet my brush in there. And it's very flattened out. I'm sorry that I'm looking in the viewfinder. I just need to... I just want to make sure you guys can see. My cat George just walked in and scared the shit out of me. Maybe you can see him. Come here. There he is. Look at him. He's so big. Georgie. Don't know if you can hear him purring. Oh, Hello. Alright, can I film the video now? <laughs> Don't think he wants me to. I wasn't expecting a cat intermission today. They never show up in my videos. Anyways, I've hit pan on this blush quite a bit and it's very flattened out. It used to have this very beautiful, I'll put a picture of it right here, a very beautiful like camera shutter. Um, imprint on it. That's long gone. It's not even an imprint. It's like a raised type um, pressing, but that's way, 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 way gone. And yeah, this is actually taking me quite a while to use up considering this only has four grams of product. It's very pigmented and this is very small. I'll compare it to my next item, which is also my project pan, the ColourPop No Filter, not No Filter, what is this called? The ColourPop um, highlighter in the shade Here Kitty Kitty. That's what the blush is compared to that. Like it's tiny. And in here you get 6.5 grams. I'd like to let you know like how much is in each product. This one it doesn't say, so can't tell you that. But the highlighter, I have actually, this is kind of a sneak peek to my uh, March update in my project pan. But I have actually expanded the pan quite a bit on this one and it's very flat as well. I love this highlighter, I'm wearing it today. Such a beautiful highlighter. This was the first highlighter I ever hit pan on and I was so happy. Going along with another thing in my project pan this year, this is the ColourPop Sheer, no filter sheer press powder in the shade light. Mine's very beat up, but I've got quite a big pan on it. Look at that, look at that huge dip in it. It's amazing. I really love this powder as well. It's beautiful. It comes with me everywhere. The actual packaging is very beat up. Like, I don't know if you can tell. And also in this powder, you get 5.5 grams. Now going on to things that I haven't shown you guys. I don't believe I've actually shown you guys these things. Maybe the one of the palettes. But this one I actually hit pan on yesterday. Uh, oh my god. I'm so happy. This is the Nabla um, highlighter in the shade Wave. Now this was part of their Summer de Nude collection last year. I really want them to bring these highlighters back because they were beautiful. Mine is very <laughs> beat up as well and I don't think you can really tell on camera. You can see the dip right there but in the close-up I have very very baby pan. This lasts forever. I really love this highlighter because it's like a champagne gold type color. It's so shimmery. I really hope Nabla brings back this highlighter formula. This took a while to hit pan in because this actually contains 10 grams of product, which that's a lot of highlighter. Like the ColourPop took me 
like quite a while to hit pan, and this only has 6.5, so this one has 10. Fucking great. I now have a few palettes that I've hit pan on. I haven't panned the entire palettes completely, I just have at least one shade in each palette that has pan on it, but this is my Colourpop Dream Street palette with Kathleen Lights, and I've hit pan in two shades in this, Shooting Star and Moony. I remember when I hit pan on Shooting Star, like, I used this like it, like it was water. It was- <laughs> this was like my favourite neutral palette. Well, brown neutral palette. And yeah, I've got quite a dip in the shade Elfish, I don't know if you can tell. I'm just gonna get this palette out of the way. This is the Kat Von D Pastel Goth palette, and in here, we all- I don't need to repeat how I feel about Kat Von D because I've said that in so many different videos, but yeah. I don't support her, but I love this palette still, and it was limited edition, so I don't feel as bad. But in the shade Skull, I have baby, baby, baby pan on it, which I'm very happy about because this is the white eyeshadow, and I actually use this white eyeshadow very often. It's actually the only white eyeshadow I own. Pretty shit, I should actually buy a single in the sugar pill formula. I'm gonna do that eventually. But I finally hit pan on this. It took me a while, I was really focusing this specific spot right here just to hit pan, and it took so long. Like, Jesus Christ. Considering with how often I use that, it's mad. Moving on, I have hit pan in a shade in my Sugar Pill Pro palette, and I'm so happy. I had a feeling this would be the eyeshadow that I hit pan first out of all of these, and it's Butter Cupcake right here. It's so bright on camera. I hope you can see. I've hit pan right in the middle. I love this yellow eyeshadow. Butter Cupcake is beautiful. It's- it doesn't swatch very well, honestly. I mean, it, it's fairly pigmented, I'll be honest. But you do have to build it up on the eyes, which is usually how colourful eyeshadows act, but I do love uh, Butter Cupcake. And these eyeshadows are huge. They have three grams of product in it. So the fact that I've hit pan on this, I'm impressed. Also, we have a casualty. Flame Point kind of took a tumble. The last two palettes I've hit pan on, I've hit pan on two very similar shades. I've hit pan on one of the shades in my Nabla Soul Blooming palette. I love this palette, you guys know. It's one of my favourite uh, neutral palettes. And the shade that I've hit pan on is Philosophy right here, which is probably my favourite shade in the palette. I mean, I love Garden Gate, but Philosophy, I love it so much. It's a... How would I describe this colour? It's like a pink, green, blue, shifty, iridescent colour. I would say it's a duo- actually, mo no, it's more of like a pink, green duochrome. I'm wearing it on my inner corners today, I don't think you can tell because I have uh, put my- where, what is it? The Urban Decay Heavy Metal, Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the shade Distortion on top of it because I want it to be extra. But it's basically the same colour as this glitter, which I love and when I was using this palette, actually, I find that whenever I use duochrome type shades, I always like to focus them in the corner. I, is anyone else like that when they use an eyeshadow? Like, certain eyeshadows, you like to focus in different areas. We, usually with mattes, I focus right in the center. But with, when it comes to, like, shimmers or duochromes, I like the corners. I, like, stay to the edge. I don't know why. Maybe that helped with hitting pan. I'm not too sure. I love the shade Philosophy. If Nabla ever came out with this as a single, I would buy it straight away. The next eyeshadow palette, I actually hit pan on this very, very quickly. But to be fair, this was the eyeshadow I was using almost every single day ever since I got it. And it's from the Lime Crime 10th Birthday palette. I don't know if this is still available. But I got this as a Christmas gift from a couple of Harley's family members. The mirror is huge. And I've hit pan on the shade Cloud, which is my favourite shade, not just because of the name, you guys know I like clouds, okay? But also because this is a very soft, glittery, white, blue, purple duochrome. Well, it's not really a duochrome, is it? But you can't even see on camera how beautiful it is. I absolutely love using this one. It's very similar to Philosophy, but it doesn't have the green shift to it. And again, I focused right in the corner of this one. And I find that this eyeshadow in particular, in this uh, palette, is extremely soft. A lot of the shimmer shades in this palette, which is almost all of them, are very soft. 
because they're very glittery, which honestly, I don't mind. I really don't mind. But yeah, I went to town on that shade. So those are all of the palettes and products that I've hit pan on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys have hit pan on any products down below. And until then, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.